me, Sir Gatto. Wow. Be amazed as I make this pen disappear. Oh. How's everyone going? Um. Gonna be playing some escape. Or no, not escape. Return. We play return. Return to Monkey Island today. That's the plan. It's gonna take me a second to configure things and stuff. And I'm doing my first launch live. Uh, because Ayo's busy. And secondly, in case there was anything cool, like when you first first launch it, I wanted to make sure I captured it. Which it should be. There we go. You the scrapbook if you need a monkey island or you need a refresher. Oh, want to see my mighty pirate oh, scrapbook? Oh, we got to do it's this. Filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. God, I was like eight when I played In this. Days, the first you one. Became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Oh, I can. Oh, I can click on specific things to get more details. You became a pirate by interesting. The Chuck thought he was in love with Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I um sort of falsified. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. The key tip was the, the key. The had opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. So good. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to Hold my on. first big adventure. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta cut it. Stop it. Turn it down. Looks like the music's not going through anyway for you guys. You were still hitting the view. It was? That's weird. It's not looking at, like it's here at all. And some game audio. You're still getting game audio? Okay, hold on. Let me. Why is it not showing the levels? Anyway, shut it down. Shut it down. Master, you son of a bitch. You made me cry. Okay, back to the game. We don't need to worry about this. It was the beginning of something magical. Aww. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. Yep, treasure of Big Whoop. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Statue of gold. Chuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. This was a great day. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated the Chuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. <laughs> no, like in here, I was getting. Maybe I'm not. Why aren't I seeing levels? What the fuck? What the fuck? What are you doing to me, you guys? Monitoring a different source. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. What source are you? You should be the right source. Yeah, you're the right source. I see what's happening here. And I don't like it. Did I fuck up today when I launched? I did. Okay, it's on me. I see what I did. It's fine. So, 
I'm playing this alone, so it won't be a problem, but it's on my uh, Discord audio channel, technically, today. But again, it's fine. This is not cool. I don't like this. I want a me I want a medium. I want a medium difficulty, right? I want like in between the two. Ah. Ah. It's fine. There's no Dana, only Zul. Yeah, basically. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Exhibit removed. Ah. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. The words don't look like words. But there's a picture of a scurvy dog. I wonder if this is drinking water. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ah, he's dead to the world. Sounds real. All right. Oh, I got like a fucking smile across my entire face right now. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. It says... Return outhouse key when finished, or else. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> God, I love this design. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> you kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a mug of grog, please? Grog's for grown-ups, beat it. Put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. 
<laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Ooh, I like that. I once had the hiccups. That's so good. I interrupted LeChuck. He was talking. Fuck. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. There's a to do list? <gasps> Good, you unlocked it. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. Chucky, it says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. I dare you to take a drink of this. No way, I'm not doing that. I double dare you to take a drink of this. Don't want to get sick before I get my scurvy dog. I double dog dare you to take a drink of this. I'll do it for a million pieces of eight. You will? No. I triple dibble dare you to drink this. I'll do it if you do it first. In front. What's that over there? Where? <sighs> okay, I took a drink. You did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Do it again then. Okay, you don't have to drink, but I dare you to wash your hands. Fine. Your turn. Ew! You actually did it! Your turn. No way. Your turn. No way. I can stand on my head. Your turn. No way. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slut. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. You have an island to woo? Nice. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do. Okay. <laughs> Gross. Gross. That's where the outhouse key was. Hey, look! I'm returning the key! You want a medal? Oh. I got an achievement Those for that, by the way. are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Oh. It's like a piece of eight. Oh. A couple of scurvy dogs. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Take them, boy. Oh. What are you getting? What? Mm. I hate that. Oh. <laughs> this is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? Scurvy dogs know. indeed, yeah. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. I want to save two scurvy dogs at the same time. Mess around and explore. Find our real parents. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. All right. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ah, he's dead to the world. That's my friend, Dee. Hey, Dee. Hey, Chucky. 
What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Oh God, what are they adding? There, perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. I hate this. I absolutely hate this one. Uh, why am I even trying this? Please no. Your turn. No way. Thank God. Okay. Whew, I was scared there for a second. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You maybe you know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, I just you got your joke, Morgan. One side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to. Oh, it kills the audio. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that then. Sorry, one second. Recast them like okay. twice a year there we go. because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <sighs> wow. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can... That's a cool anchor. <sighs> That just shows how little you know. Oh no! Anchors. Oh no! Oh this no! One's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. They started making them big then. The current, but you can still on a modern anchor. That's to prevent a little most anchor about thirty. Oh, but the only the word anchor. They're called yeah. It's a good tutorial, though. That's <laughs> what so I was going to say before I fucked up and clicked it again. Did you know your feet won't smell? Hey, Chucky. Wanna God damn, I keep missing the funny on. Chucky oh, cabots. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! Woohoo! Yeah! Shoot! Three. Hey, Sheena. You have to wait until I say go. Shit. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go. Chucky wins. Hmm. I need an item to beat him. Yeah. Nuts. That's my guess. At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks. Hey, hands off! 
Excuse me. Yes. Zanary, I'm sorry for your ad. Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. Excuse me? Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Excuse me? Yes? Never mind. That's a nice tree. I'm only pretending to look at the tree. I'm actually spying on that couple by the pond. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days, they have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 I certainly hope you'll have better manners in the future. I fucking love this so much already, and we haven't done anything. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Yeah, all right. Random floor ketchup. Not to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. It smells bad. Oh no! No! Oh! Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops! Uh, good. At least we did that, though. Scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. I wonder where this path goes. Okay, fine. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that was fun. How do you write this shit? I don't know. Okay, did I get my list done? Cool, alright. Let's look for a four leaf clover! Okay, good luck with that. You added it to my to-do list, and I have to do it. How does this work? I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! I never thought I'd ever find one. All right, now that I got the four-leaf clover, am I lucky? Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? 
run along and find your real parents. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. Thought I'd be able to distract him property. with the vomit. And no respect for your elders. Skip. Skip. And I've skip. We're gonna skip the blahs. Thank you. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Damn. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Did you? I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. We go way back. I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. We go way back. Oh, okay. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. I wish we could speak backwards. Or what is yes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Where's it? That was fun. Ah oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. Okay, now how the hell do I win the race and how the hell do I feed the ducks? Can I just feed the duck my dog? I'm saving this scurvy dog for myself. Yeah, but you've you've ruined your scurvy dog. Okay, I kind of was feeding the duck. Neat. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two. Hey, cheater! You have to wait until I say go. Whoops. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go. I gotta distract him somehow. Officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! Woohoo! Yeah! Shoot! We just gotta run him out. Maybe it's, maybe it's one of those ones where it's just persistence. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Dang it. I was late. I wonder where this path goes. Yeah, you want to progress the plot, I know, but I want to figure out how to beat you. Can I wash off the ketchup? No. Nope. Some places you go have. God damn it! Oh, if I double click, I run. That's how I win. 
Jesus Christ. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Alright, all the tutorials are done. I can double click to run. We learned something important by accident. Which honestly is the best way to learn that shit, right? Bigger than my head. Let's go see if I can find my actual pet. Whoa. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. Who we got? Scurvy dogs. Those have what? toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it's really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey You Island never tell you the secret! Up. They're oh, gonna tell you the fucking ending. secret! There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Brexit did great, by the way. Hey, Stitch. Uh, feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, hey, cool. you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Ted Bucks say we're gonna sail with LeChuck. I guess we'll go through the, the list. Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, 
I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm a pirate <coughs> and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the deal. <laughs> ah! By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Hi there, little guy. Hi. Can't talk to the rat, though. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. Okay, Chad. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit something to you here. Um, just, a, just a little bit, okay? Uh, I pre-ordered this game strictly because this has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. If you pre-ordered, you got horse armor that's useless in your inventory for the entire game. Mightier than the sword. I've got a few coins for incidentals. <laughs> All right, island interior. My business right now is down those stairs no. with three pirate leaders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. It's been a little while since I played the old one. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's keen on bluntness. There's gonna be... I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. I have to walk past the bar. Can I do that? Oops. I almost forgot to duck no. into the scum bar to ask the pirate leaders to back my expedition. All right, all right. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. <laughs> I really need to talk with the pirate leaders first. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. These remixes of the music is amazing too. This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. 
Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? <sighs> Just a humble pirate, unworthy to be in your august presence. And yet, here you are. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a mystery of the age that must be solved. The that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Mm. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Mm, I like the old pirate leaders better. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. No thanks. I'm getting my own expedition together. Suit yourself. I'm here if you change your mind. But don't dawdle. We sail with the tide. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. All right. Let's go see what we can do at Melee before we join. Elaine? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. 
Delane! Guybrush! How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! Stream stuck! A lot oh of no. To a lot of sailors and save a lot of no, it looks good to me. It's moving for me. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. That's weird, Paula. I don't know. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. We're going to be here for a bit. No, you say bye first. No, you say bye first. Okay. Bye. Bye. We won! The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santa Catalina. It's Elaine's flyer about how Limes combats. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. They're having a half off sale. Wally's maps and more! At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. I don't... I cannot give you what you wish. But perhaps I can help in another way. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, Open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. A <laughs> little much diminishes the voyage. Oh! Right. No charge. The shame no is using the book of hints. My shame is using the book of hints. This is so good. Docks. It does? Most assuredly. Oh no! At Chamber of Commerce Mid- At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon, back shortly. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon, back I got it twitching. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. Okay, the high street we go. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. 
Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. It seems to be stuck closed. It seems to be stuck closed. Hi there, newcomer. Hiya. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. A key grinder, all right. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. <laughs> What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. Lockable quiver? What's this lock? That's for hats. What's this lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. What's that lock? A special one that can open with any of four different keys. What's this lock? A famous lawyer used that to keep people from stealing his front doormat. And please, don't touch the glass. What's that lock? That's for sealing a container full of evaporated gas. Is that a lock-picking lawyer joke? What's that lock? It's for a small jazz band to lock up their gear. What's that lock? It's for a small jazz band to lock up their gear. Okay. And please, don't touch the glass. We got through all those. What's this key? That one is only for going in, never for coming out. Oh no. What's this key? That one's for making a quick exit from somewhere you're trapped. What's that key? That opens a long straight wardrobe for keeping long straight dresses. What's that key? That activates a mechanical kettle. And please don't touch the glass. What's that key? That unlocks your house. What's this key? That activates a mechanical kettle. And please don't touch the glass. Okay, we're through them all. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. <laughs> it's southern Florida! <laughs> Fuck! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke oh, Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong I mean, that you can make a key real, from just the serial way. number. It's a fail safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. <laughs> well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. 
can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. She's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Uh-huh. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system. And I don't like it disrupted. Alright, I need to get something that can magnify things to get a serial key on a lock at some point. I think it's a chandelier. Looks sort of like an eye. A visitor! <laughs> Wait! Stand! Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that yep. time. Yep. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. <laughs> oh, shit. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time. And I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors? Imagine that. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Aw, number three priority. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Stan, why are you in jail already? <laughs> oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. They kept the suit thing consistent. That's amazing. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sale, 
But if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart! You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? Well, seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really angles. anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Hmm. Sure credit. Okay. Well, thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. <laughs> what did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the oh, things no. they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whenever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, <laughs> I completely shredding. forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. See you later. Yep. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. It's a good rule. All right. So we take a look at the governor's mansion. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack.
When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. I hope you're not still sore about that thing with the ship that one time. Ancient history. Oh, good. I can think of plenty of more recent things to hold against you. Oh. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. <laughs> Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? Ha! <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. So unlikely, but still possible? No. You want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. <gasps> Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island or don't you? I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Oh. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. That's so amazing. Governor stuff. I've exhausted all the dialogue, so it's just gone. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Edgy. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. They're for difficulty. Morning. Do not try these tricks at home. Note to the reader no disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Uh, I gotta pay him money? Can I borrow a book? Okay. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. 
Okay, so I gotta find the book. Stay out of my bedroom, Three Wood. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog. Please take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Okay, we got a stuffed animal. Progress. Now we gotta find. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Into the bay, yuck. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to in a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? It says, Tans previously owned vessels. So sad. Stans used to be the best place to buy used chips. I remember when these torches lit up Stans previously owned vessels like a carnival. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. It's soft and extra fuzzy. It's good for relieving stress. Okay, we're gonna need a tool or something. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Ah, I see. Okay. Else we can go on the island. Museum. All right. So what do we what do we know? I need a magnifying glass type situation. What happens if I go into the forest without a map? A classic specimen of Alata needlius. A carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Alright, let's wait till we get the map book. For now, at least. Better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Back again. I'd like to discuss an officer position of some sort. Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be second mate, 
Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What are you bench? Bench? <clears throat> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Maybe Slobby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Let's go. Over three point. Yeah, that's what I thought. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm afraid I can't hire you after all. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. All their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog riddled body has fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. The achievement for making him say that was fan service makes you so happy. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in.
still in public service, fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. My god. I cannot hope to succeed with this the so mop good. of another. <laughs> I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mob Quest. When do we get to the <laughs> Even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. It seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. Active little guys, aren't they? Looks like a mugshot. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Then you have a packet of stick-on stars. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. All right, we got some string. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I completed the three trials. Trials? It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. <sighs> well, well, well. Guess I'm not good enough. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Hey, 
Hey, Wally. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. Bye. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. <laughs> Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Ooh, looks chilly up there. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, Cursed Black Diamond. The first rule of piracy is, Black never Pearl. buy a used treasure map. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Hey, Wally. What's in these boxes? Maps. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Huh, never seen one of those before. Somewhat understated, and somewhat overpriced. Wait, okay. Oh, good. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. 
Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait! Let him live! I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Creepwood on board. Oh, Very well. well. Need a plan C, I guess. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Thanks, Whitey. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Hey, guys. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp. Without the clean parts. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Welcome back. Hi. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Do I owe you anything at the moment? Thank you for noticing. This should cover it. Thanks. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. How's your day going? Can I unlock this one too? That's right. No thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. I already copied the serial number. I like to pick up. No. Things are not what they seem. It seems to be stuck closed. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Right, okay. Ah! I clicked out of the game, sorry. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. Uh, I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it. Uh, right away, sir. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? 
The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads. But I can't think about that right now. I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. Stay away from my mop! Well, it's definitely a mop. How's it going with that nightmare customer guy? My stomach feels like it's full of cannonballs and splintered rowboats. Can I ask you again about the mop I need to make? Sure. What kind of wood did you say the tree was? I didn't. Okay, thanks. recipe, a dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? I do host plenty of functions, but I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Conference meeting thing is over. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I hey, also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Aww. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. 
Honestly, I don't remember a word of it. But it was touching. Thanks a lot. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind. Autographed by Francis Drake himself. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambitious. Meat Hook! Also, he used to live right here on Melee. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous Peg Leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. Spoiler alert. You don't believe me? Spoiler it's alert. not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. Oh, I'm nuts stretch. about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. <sighs> Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. This is kind of what the music, the that one D&D museum I went to recently is kind of like a very quaint. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. 
It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I see so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. Well, have a look around. Please See do. real pirate stuff. It's Cracker Mix. Some assembly required. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. It doesn't tell me how to make it. Mm, okay, interesting. Assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. I remember when this place used to be wall to wall with sword training gyms. Now there's nothing but trees. Progress. Hi, Dre. Meathook's museum is gone. So is the cable to his island. That's just as well, given the worldwide rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, sure. Wow. Stretch it in. All right. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. The latest continents, baby. Hey, Wally. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, oh, you need just a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Crap, okay. Bye. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Okay, actually, it does give me something I can do. So I'm starting to get an idea of what it wants me to do, which is good. Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me, and they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, probably not. <laughs> Cats. Very good. Oh, this fucking game. Alright. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Hi there. Hi there. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Do I owe you anything at the moment? 
Thank you for noticing. This should cover it. Thanks. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Hello again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? I need the book. All right. Let's see. Got an idea. Would you make crackers if I gave you some cracker mix? That stuff is strictly for home and office use. We pros don't touch it. That's not what I expected it to be, but it's fine. All right. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Okay, so we're not gonna do really anything here until I get the eye patch. Hey, watch it! So I have the key to get in the display case, but I gotta distract the guard parrot, pretty sure. try. I probably need the cracker to distract him. It doesn't seem interested. Okay, so where do I have access to a kitchen? Maybe the voodoo player sentence, please? Lick it. Lick it! neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Lane at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. You do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not, but the tourists like them. Keep up the good work, buddy. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. How much for the safe? It is not for sale at any price. As I said, it has been placed with me for safe. Scroll work is nice, but there are no numbers here. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. 
Everything is spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, or sheath. keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Do I owe you anything at the moment? Much. You're not talking about money, are you? No. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology oh. will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Okay, cool. Damn, that was so much fun. I'm getting a little tired though, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to go tonight. Which I know it'd be kind of a short stream tonight because I got meetings and other things like that I gotta deal with, so. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog. For when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. Well, apparently a forgiveness frog doesn't work if the apology you write on it isn't good enough. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. Santa Domingo, I believe. As shown by your actions at Santa Domingo, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. Best part of an apology is telling the person what you're going to do differently next time. This is for you. Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. 
one thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santa Catalina. Oh, Santa Catalina. Fuck. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Didn't have subtitles on until just now. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. Oh no! You can do better. I reject your frog. I fucked it up. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. This is for you. Dear Carla, <laughs> I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful. Considering it's you, I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book. And I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Aww. Can I borrow this cookbook? I just hope she you says yes. like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. We're gonna have to cook the cookbook, aren't we? We still need a way to cook the crackers. Crackers. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. 
<laughs> Keep your hands off my mop. Jesus Christ. Yar. It's the cook's old mop. It off the cook's mop handle. Good times. <clears throat> Got it. That's why I needed the. Okay. Lolly, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Ten minutes later. Sure. Here it is. Thanks, Wally. Owe you anything at the moment? Ha! Ah, yes! I'm doing so well right now that sometimes I forget to collect payment on small orders like yours. This should cover it. Thanks. Okay, we got a map. Do 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 snipping tool. Do 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 do. Don't work harder. Work smarter. Harder. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. I should also be checking just to make sure there's nothing I grab. Left again. Left again. Left again. Up. All right, so yep, got here. Okay, all right, right again, right again, up, left. Oh, maybe that's where I goofed up. Up. I guess I lost my way. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Go left. Go right. Go up. I guess I lost my way. Cheats. Good night, Paula. Thanks for hanging out. All right. I lost my way. Okay, hold on. Let's try one last thing here. God damn it. But I definitely got way farther the first time.
This one's tricky. I think this one. I lost my way. God bless it. So if it follows like the, the the previous maps in this kind of stuff, right? Then it would just be like you follow whatever the thing is, right? So right, and then right, and then right, and then up, and then left, and then up, and then this would be left, 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 right? But then what I was thinking is, is it based on like your perception, right? So when you walk up on it, it'd be right, and then across, and then across, and then left, and then left, and then right, and then across, 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 across. And that got me all the way to like very deep, but then there wasn't anything there. It was just the mushrooms. Oh, hi. Try that again. Oh, there's no middle one this time. Back to the entrance again. Fuck. A classic specimen of a lot of needly. I guess I lost my way. Yeah, you did. I guess I lost my way. Warning. The dark. I lost my way. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna run to the bathroom quick. <laughs> then I'm gonna try to figure this out, I guess. Stupid fucking forest puzzle. Thank you. 
You gotta work tomorrow. Yeah. I'll probably play more of this tomorrow, honestly. <coughs> so I am having a really good time. Well, I was having a really good time until this puzzle. But only because, like... Man, I don't know. It's so weird. Can I zoom out a little bit, please? Thank you. Jesus, okay. Oh, 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 I'm so dumb. I get it now. I get it now. Purple flowers. Mushrooms. 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 Purple flowers. A carnivorous one. Purple flowers. Carnivorous one. And carnivorous one. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Several hours later. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's probably time for them to fly south. Hey, little deer. Ah. Uh, we're taking a screenshot of that. <laughs> My fucking god, this game. Oh my god. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. I'll take a shortcut back. That was amazing. Oh my god. I carved it myself. Look at the mop handle I carved. I only needed one tree to make it. You found the tree. Oh, good thing you only took one branch. It's the last mop tree on the island. Very, very rare. Brilliant innovation. Busy? Yep. Okay. Seems like a lot. I made okay. This will be excellent. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Look at my new mop. I made it myself. That's a fantastic mop. Oh my god. Absorbent, expertly carved handle. It should last you a lifetime of fine mopping. Three teaspoons and a tablespoon. I can't understand why this is taking so long. Just bring me what the governor served me last week. Of course, sir. Sorry for the delay. Uh, 
I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. What a jerk. All these newfangled pirates, they don't understand the point of point and click games. Playing their Sea of Thieves and shit. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to make the crackers. Oh, you know what? The cook's also distracted now. I could probably use this pot. I think about that. No. 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 Would you make crackers if I gave you some cracker mix? That stuff is strictly for home and office use. We pros don't touch it. I see. Do I really have to salt it so awful? He'll never complain again. Looks like a mugshot. Oh. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and con... Bad idea. Let's check this out now. wreck my brand new shiny knife. Damn it. Pirate Times. Editor, Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. It's soft and extra fuzzy. Oh, I probably could use it's this as the, extra the mop head. Damn it. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Mr. Brush. Hiya. Idea. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking like it's the 1980s and I'm playing fucking adventure games, baby. All right, so that's allow me to get here now. I've got enough to last me. The display case is locked. I got a key. me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. But it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Well. Wow. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Gold. It's the way of keys. The way of keys. All right. 
Keep up the good work, buddy. All right, you said you can make this eye patch magical again. Can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Lane. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... If... If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. You couldn't have told me this earlier? I could have. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. What? Then... I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right. Let's see what I can do. Bite of a thousand tiny needles. Hey, Wally. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. Dan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. That's such a good reference. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? open one of the jail cells. This was a good idea. They magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. It's good for relieving stress. I've got enough to last me. It's a single, it's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Pirate Times, editor Conrad Lee. I don't want to wreck my brand new shiny knife. Damn it, come on, give me some of the pride. Ugh. Remember that stench as if it were yesterday. It's Carla's copy of Ingredients by Barbie LaFlay. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Indeed. Always confused about baking versus roasting. Well, now that doesn't even seem possible. Coming along nicely. Looks like a mugshot. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Yes.
It'll be my ship soon enough. It'll be my ship soon enough. Hey, Threepwood. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Come on, let me have the swabby job. If you were anybody else and you had a mop, I'd hire you. But you're you, so I'm sorry, I can't. What do you think of this baby? Signature model. I made it myself. I'm sure it's great, Threepwood, but I can't give you the swabby job unless you magically turn into somebody else. How clever. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. Uh oh. Property foreclosed by order of Madison. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. Mm. Got good advice there, Granny. This door is stuck. It seems to be stuck closed. I knife it. That never ends well for the knife. Oh. That monocle. I don't see anything useful here. Damn it. Okay. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hi there. Can I try out your key grinder? No. I wouldn't want you to lose any fingers. What more can you tell me about the Golden Keys? Not much. I was just a kid, and mysteries have never been my thing. Too messy. Say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Damn it. Okay. Can I borrow this book? One book at a time. I only trust you so far. Shadow Maze, thank you very much for the raid. Hope things are good. Generally having a good time. But I also just got... Crossword? No, as a matter of fact, I'm working on acquisition leads. The museum hasn't got a set right, now effect. because yes. someone walked away with my eye patch. I'm not sure how they got past the guard parrot. But rest assured, I'll be beefing up security immediately. Good idea. You look busy. I am. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. Actually, I think I'd rather not hear about that again. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, I can't steal. Tell me again about the hook. That once belonged to the Dread Pirate Meat, Meat Hook. Hook. Yeah, no, it's been it's been really funny. They've had some really good jokes and stuff. But like, I was tasked with finding something now, and I think I know where it is, and I think I know what I have to do to get it. But apparently, I don't have the the tool needed to do it. So now I'm going every place. 
was there anything else in here, was there? Hey, kid! Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you, Stan? You look like you're having a good... At least this jail has two lamps. At least the jail is well lit. That's it, though, huh? Hey, Stan! Hello there, son! I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up, with your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Well, don't worry yourself about it then, son. I found a dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. See you later. Yep. They say the only real prison is the one in your head. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Okay, so the toothbrush thing isn't. What the fuck is the sponge for? I haven't used the sponge for anything yet. is the answer. But where? Wah! That's... That's why I, like, accidentally clicked out of my stream. Whoops! whoops a -da daisy Hint book. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Can you tell me where to find the bite of a thousand needles? I wish I could. Me too. Yeah, I'm definitely wishing you could. The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. They really would. Oh yeah, that clock has been broken for decades now. Broken clocks. Another idea.
because he needs to do centerpiece, right? good pirate museum needs a set of horse armor. I'll get back to you. <laughs> God damn it. There's nothing in there to steal. Okay, nothing else in the storeroom. Source has given its all in support of my per. So is that the only? Th hmm. I'm just gonna check this way too. Just curious. Okay, so either way it takes me there now. Interesting. Ah, it's going good-ish. Ish. Don't worry about this. It's fine. I didn't create an ecological disaster or anything. It's fine. No ecological disasters here. Cause like I was wondering if like because you can see like the the shadowy thing like run into the woods right maybe you had to follow it but that is not the case something in the shipyard of Mister Seven don't worry about it it's fine the window's all boarded up and it's very dark in there is that an old toothbrush it's sad to see the shipyard like this. Oh, I remember the first time Stan tried to fleece me. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. It's good for relieving stress. Mom plus bucket. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Stan, it's all rusted out. Pirate Times, editor Conrad Lee, ready to publish your unrecognized genius. All right, time for shame. What? Oh, it did say it's very needly. And I would not have thought of that. Gotcha, you pointy little tricky fight. Especially with the forest being like closed off. of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient powerful charm or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take 
pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Ghost Pirate. Yeah. What the heck? I look like a zombie. Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. Do I owe you anything at the moment? Much. You're not talking about money, are you? No. Okay. I don't think I can actually get Stan's toothbrush. Hey, kid. Just get double check though. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Yep. Okay. See you later. Yep. He was serious about the centipede in the corner. All right. Well, cool then. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. Interesting. But we're making the progress. I'll wait until I'm closer to LeChuck's ship. No need to scare the melee town folk. How do you like my mop? It's custom built. Let's see. Stick, tangle of boat line. <sniffs> Smells like seagull droppings. Wait a minute. I've seen this mop before. Where did you get it? I stole it from a pirate. Oh, LeChuck will like that. I happen to need a swabby. You interested? Definitely. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? A scumbar. The Reapwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Ominous. ship you turn the tables on them you whipped out your sword and said i'm your captain now take me to monkey island where you'll all walk the plank uh more or less the name's gullet but you're not to call me that to you i'm the first swab and i want to hear the capital letters when you say it capital one got it and this is the old you'll be spending a lot of time down here i thought we'd have a union or something how much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here, you sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice! A cruel and vengeful deity! I only have one simple rule, you are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? But no! <laughs> what happens if I leave? I said you're not gonna leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. 
<laughs> Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know? Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ain't an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hole sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate's life for me. Oh my god, this game is good. Okay. Do a save. You gotta smell it. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. No way am I picking that up with my hands. Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Looks like you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. It's an inspirational, instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. Copyright with Chuck, all rights reserved. Get inspired! Follow the Chuck's lead. Betray trust, throw tantrums, commit fraud, oversteer welcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, murder those who get in your way. Condensed from the book, The LeChuck Way. Get to work, don't get fired. Uh, the ship is enchanted to be unboardable by anyone but her crew, that includes you, so don't worry about it unless you get fired, then worry. I can't see much through this thing. Yep. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Boy, these are really wedged in there. More chickens? <laughs> God damn it. Murray? Indeed. I, I am Mr. Murray, <laughs> the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage, withered zombie man. Have we met before? No, but I'm a big fan. Ah, my reputation precedes me. Like the locusts before the storm. Locusts? But I will sign no autographs. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. I wonder what it's made out of. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. <laughs> it's none of your business. Okay, 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 okay. The rest okay, of my gear okay, is in there. Okay, okay, okay. I okay. hope it'll be safe down here. I need it's to probably I need to stop here, because if I keep going, I'm gonna not get any sleep tonight. <laughs> I know that's what's gonna happen to me. Thank you! S Mage for that 
sneeze less thing. Ugh, I need sleep. I still have to get through the last four days at my old job. Four more days. They have me training somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, you're right. There's like nobody live right now, really. Let's read Mal. Thanks, everybody, for stopping out. It's a hoot. I'll probably play more of this tomorrow because I'm having such a good time. Um, if you want some, me almost like giggle laughing earlier in the stream, like definitely happened, so. Was a was a good time. Very much enjoying so far. So, um, stay tuned for some announcements. It's not ominous enough, is it? So, yeah, it's well, it's eleven twenty ish for me. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do some journaling a little bit. And get some sleep. Check out my three D print. I got my print. I got my friend. Uh, I had a three D printer, and the last time I plugged it in. The capacitor exploded on me in the power thing. It was very scary. Um, and I was having some trouble getting it to work today. But, like, the last thing I printed was these, um, they're NES, like, display holders, basically, right? You put, like, an NES game in it, and it just sits there and holds it at an angle, so it's, like, nice and presentable. And there's, like, a little bit of stringing on the outside and stuff that needs to get cleaned up and whatever. But, like, the print itself seems like it's in pretty good shape, especially for, like, what I'm asking it to do. Um, so now I'm printing something that's going to take a lot longer. It'd be really whatever, so. Along with learning 3D printing. It's pretty interesting, but it's incredibly complicated. Good night, everybody! Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs>